Jenny Sims looking for a teammate. Shot clock winding down. And oh, Sims what a shot. connects. Well, Sims is a senior at Old Dominion. She was the second leading scorer in the nation. Shot clock is off. And Jordan Canada is going to earn a trip to the free throw line. And that's really how the Sparks have gotten back into the game a little bit. It's a free throw line. But Jenny Sims, who's right-handed, going to the left off the drive and getting the ball to go in. Great shot. JC back to the free throw line. I'd like to thank our producer, Bobby Hayden, director Jason Moon, statistician Chris Ramirez, everybody on point yet again for us here on the CBS Sports Network. Sam Thomas has checked into the ball game. Diana Taurasi still wanting an explanation from crew chief Cheryl Flores. That conversation could last all night. <laughs> JC unable to connect on the second one. Sparks run down the rebound, though. Canada, not about the pull-up jumper, gets it in to Nelson Adota. She's fouled and will go to the free throw line. Just nine seconds to go in this game. It looks like Phoenix is going to hang on and complete the season sweep, or rather, split the season series against the Sparks and improve to nine up and five down here at home. Well, you look at the minutes. Shea Petty, 33 minutes. Cunningham, 35. Turner, 33. Tulasi, 35. Diggins Smith, 26, probably would have been 30. Oh, 1,000%. And Sims off the bench, 21, and Gustafson, 11. I think, you know, again, the ability to be able to substitute and have the kind of bench that she has to give some rest to her starters. Nelson Adota off on the chance to cut it to single digits for the first time since the second quarter, and that is going to do it as the Mercury get the victory. 90 to 80 is the final as the Mercury bounce the Sparks for a third straight time here in the desert. Up next for Phoenix, the start of a three-game road trip at the Liberty Sunday and a pair at the Connecticut Sun before returning home for the final four-game homestand of the regular season. Annie, what impressed you most about this Mercury win? The defense. The defense, they had their hands all over the place. They came up with 12, 13 steals in this game and, and uh, the execution of their offense. But the defense, and that comes with the energy, the effort, and just the focus they had in this game. Diana